not just a sponsor of your team, but also a fan. Phones you want, service you deserve. Prairie Mobile, your SaskTel authorized dealer. We're going to guess just how tough is this being back here today? Yeah, it's really disappointing. I think, you know, I had pretty pretty high goals for myself going into that camp and honestly I thought I played pretty well but yeah to be back here it's definitely disappointing but a couple big games before the Christmas break here so I'm looking forward to. Did you sense at any time that uh, it was going to be tough for you there? Uh, yeah I think you know you got your work cut out for you when you know you're on the bottom line going into camp but you know that's kind of been my story my the whole time with Hockey Canada for me every single time I've been there you know I kind of started on bottom lines and worked my way up but you know, everyone gets a shot there, and I was just happy to go to camp. But uh, like I said, I thought I played pretty well, and it's disappointing to be back. What did they say to you? Um, they, say, they honestly said you, you had a pretty you, you had a pretty good camp. We were happy with how you played. You know, keep your chin up. And don't let this get to you. But you know, we're really deep at forward, especially at left wing. So we got to got to make cuts, and that was kind of it. So shook, shook their hands, said goodbye. Did it being there a day late hurt you? Maybe. Uh, I don't think so. I think there was like six or seven guys that missed that first practice. So. Nothing you can really do about it. Flight got cancelled, so no, I don't think so. Is that so, more you're... frustrating considering maybe it wasn't something you did? It's just more of a, you know, their decision, a personal decision to, to cut you at that time? Yeah, that's kind of the thing with, you know, that process. It starts at such a young age and you never really know, you know, when they're out watching games, if the only games they catch all year are games that, you know, you think you play poor and it's something you can't really control. So, you know, uh, like I said, it's a long process to get to that point, and I thought I played well in those two games there, so that they're basing it off a lot of things. I don't think it was just that. Is when it, the coach says there's separation between the guys cut and the guys still on the roster, that's a pretty stinging comment. Uh, what do you make of that? Um, well, it's it's tough. Hockey, Hockey Canada teams are hard to make, especially that World Junior team, so that just shows how good the players making the team really are because you know, I thought I played well and you know thought I kept my nose in there right with those guys the whole time. So nothing you can really do about it now. I just got to make sure I'm coming back here and working hard, but just going to camp was, was an experience in itself. Would you like to take it out on Brandon and Lethbridge this week? Yeah, I think that's kind of a good way to you know, use my use my anger towards or my, my motivation is to play against those teams because, you know, we got that win in Brandon uh, last time we were in there, but to get two in a row, there would be something that would be pretty special. Are you someone that does that, uses fuel? I mean, whether it was, you know, leaving Calgary Flames camp or whether it's this, I mean, do you use that throughout the season? Yeah, you try to. I think uh, you know, it's the first time I've really been cut from a team that, you know, I think I've had a legit shot at making, so something that's kind of tough to deal with, but you kind of got to learn as you go throughout your hockey career. It takes a pretty, pretty rare person to never be cut from a team. So, you know, to, to have that actually happen now is something that definitely is motivation and something that I'm going to use going forward for us this season here. We saw your scrum last night, and you are saying the right things, but the body language spoke something different. What were you really thinking in that moment? Well, you're, you're obviously disappointed, I think. You know, that's one, That was one of my biggest goals coming into junior hockey was to play for that team, but... You know, you, you can't really do anything else, can't really say anything else because you know, it's the truth. Going to camp and being in the top 30 guys in junior hockey for, for your age group or that age group is something that's, that's pretty special and an honor, but I mean, you can't lie, you're disappointed in, in coming back. Was perhaps your downfall that you're a player that does everything well, but they're looking for guys that are in a specific role, a specific skill? Yeah, you see a lot of the guys there, and all of them you know, are pretty prolific scorers, pretty big number guys. It's, or, you know, real high draft picks. But that's kind of the story with hockey within Canada. There's a lot of good players, and at the end of the day, they got to make some decisions. So they, they didn't think that my role fit in with the team, so nothing I could really do about that. I thought I'd play pretty well. It's a minor consolation. I mean, you, you get to come back with a group that's playing well, that's winning, and that always hasn't been the case when you've been in Regina. How much easier does it make it to take when this team's doing well and it's such a comforting situation to return to. Yeah, that was probably one of the coolest parts of being there, honestly, is all the Western guys and even some of the Eastern guys kept talking to me about you know, how well our team's doing back here. And you know, that was something that was pretty special because I've never really had that when I've gone to those things. Every single person almost came up to me and said, wow, you know, you guys are doing so good. Everyone's scoring. Everyone's doing well. So you got, you got a fair shot. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. I think, you know, that's tough. They don't really tell you specifically what they, what they want your role to be. So... You know, I went in there playing on in the fourth line and, and then playing penalty kill and then got a little bit more of a shot in the second game. But I think my role was going to be one of those bottom line guys that kills penalties and does that. And I thought I did that pretty well, but obviously not good enough. Has Hockey Canada with you always been, I guess, keeping things up the sleeve a little bit? They're not as forthcoming that maybe you'd like them to be? Well, yeah, I think everyone probably kind of says that. You want to know what they're thinking when they're thinking it, but that's, that's kind of the hockey world. Everyone kind of keeps their cards pretty close to their chest. But... 
I've had a lot of really good experiences with Hockey Canada throughout my throughout my years from under 16 to this team. It's the first team I didn't make, but you know I wish them the best of luck. I got a lot of friends on that team, and uh, I, ho I hope they do well. It's got to be pretty bad. I mean, you made Hockey Canada the, the national team at every level, but this one. Yeah, you, you know they talk about the process the whole way to kind of you know build up to that national junior team, and right from step one, I made every team. So I guess uh, you know, I didn't do a good enough job. Um, at this camp or leading up to the camp in, the, in you know, the past couple months here. But like I said, I wish them best of luck and nothing I can really do about it now.